Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave, and in this video we're going to go through the layout of Ableton Live. So the first thing with Ableton Live is its unique selling point and what makes it so special is that it has two different views. It has Arrangement View and Session View. So this is currently Session View that we're in now. And as we can see we've got our tracks here going from left to right. And these are currently going vertical. And when we're in this view what we can do is we can jam around with our clips without uh, using the time domain. So we can think of this as like a color palette where we can mix and match all of our different ideas and we don't have to worry about how it's going to sound along a timeline. Whereas if we go onto this button here, which takes us to, as you can see, there's horizontal lines on this. So that's to indicate that it's the timeline or the arrangement view. The arrangement view is how other DAWs such as Logic Pro and Cubase work, where it's got a standard left to right time based uh, timeline or time based view that we can work in. So it's working on the time domain and we'd have the start of our track here and we'd have the end of our track somewhere over here. So a lot of people start off in session view and build up all their different ideas, see what works and then there's uh, various different means that we can use to then bring that into arrangement view. So with these two views we've got a few things that are common in both of these views we can see we've got our tracks so in one view they go lengthways in the other view they go vertical and then we have our mixer which is here we've also got our mixer which is down here and we've got buttons here to show and hide things such as the mixer the sends and returns which are for using effects and then we've got the inputs and outputs as well so I'm going to hide them just so you don't get too confused we've also got a few other things down here which we'll come into when we go into much more depth later on after I've given you the introduction into using live uh, so we also have the browser, which is a really important feature for choosing our sounds. So what we can do from here is we can choose what we want to put on our MIDI and our audio tracks just by either double clicking it or dragging it in. So if I just double click, see that's loaded up a drum kit onto this track. We go to samples, see we can preview the sounds here and we can drop that. So that's our browser. Then at the top here we've got some transport controls, some looping controls and the master uh, the, the controls for the live set such as the uh, BPM, the link, uh, we've got some phase buttons and we've got some quantization and the metronome. Then what we also have is we have the info view. So if you don't want to use the lessons panel to learn about uh, Ableton Live or you don't want to read the manual then what you can do is just learn on the fly. Uh, this info view dynamically updates by hovering over things and it will tell you things like shortcuts and anything else you might need to know and then you can show and hide that down here but I suggest you keep that open for while you're getting used to Ableton because it can be really handy just for jogging your memory with things uh, we then have detail view which we can show and hide with this arrow here you'll see there's arrows all over the place for all the different functions and there's lots of shortcuts as well but this is detail view which is split between this tab here and this tab here so this is clip view and if you're clicking on an audio clip you're going to see uh, information about the audio clip here and if we click on a MIDI clip or create a MIDI clip you can see we're going to have information about the MIDI clip here such as uh, piano roll or what the different drum sounds are and then we've got a few sub menus as well which we'll cover later on and then here we've got the device view which allows us to tweak the settings or the different pads or the devices, simpler or sampler or drum rack or whatever we're using. And then this also allows us to add extra things such as maybe we want to use some MIDI effects uh, and we might want to use some audio effects and these can just be dragged on and they go from left to right along this timeline. And then likewise we can do that for other parts as well so we could drop some effects either down in the bar here or onto our actual track. So that was a very quick and dirty overview of the layout of Ableton Live. What we'll do now is we're going to jump in over the next few videos and make some beats and get you actually using the software. And then once we've done that, we're going to roll back a little bit and start to learn everything from the top in much more detail. See you in the next video.